Our planet never ceases to surprise with its beauty and mysteries. Sometimes it seems that every corner has been discovered and studied for a long time, but this is not the case. In this video, I invite you to discover some of the most unexplored territories on Earth. Number 1. Sun Dum Cave, in Vietnam, is considered one of the most impressive places in Southeast Asia. Discovered in 1991 by a local farmer during a storm, the cave remained hidden as it is in a remote and difficult to access area. In 2009, British cavers rediscovered the entrance, revealing an astonishing underground world. Sun Dung is the largest cave in the world, 150 meters deep and 9,000 meters long. Scientists have explored 6,000 meters and discovered a unique diversity of flora and fauna, including bears, parrots, bats, butterflies and more than 70 species of amphibians and reptiles. The cave is a beautiful world that was hidden for a long time. Number 2. Did you know that there is an extremely hot and unique place on Earth called the Danakil Depression? It is located in the desert of the same name in Ethiopia. The region has amazing landscapes, with salt deposits, sulfur geysers and a lava lake and a volcano. It is recognized as the hottest and lowest place in the world, located 125 meters below sea level. Although conditions are difficult, scientists have made important discoveries here, such as remains of Australopithecus afarensis that are more than 3 million years old. It has also been found that microorganisms live in the hot water that comes out of the rocks despite the harsh conditions. Although Danica looks like a hellish place, it is popular with tourists, and around the depression there are settlements where people live. Number 3. A large part of the Javari Valley in the Amazon rainforest remains unexplored and is mainly inhabited by tribes who avoid contact with the outside world. It is the largest reserve of indigenous people in the Amazon, on the border of Brazil and Peru, with an area comparable to the size of Portugal, that is, about 85,344 square kilometers. About 2,000 people from 14 tribes live there and are hostile towards outsiders. These tribes protect their lands and surrounding nature due to constant attacks by Brazilian poachers in the tropical forests. Despite the protection of the Brazilian authorities, these tribes live far from civilization and have chosen a lifestyle in harmony with nature. Unfortunately, their efforts to resist armed poachers often end tragically, as the invaders continue to enter their territory and attack if they get in the way of their hunt. Number 4. Matua, in Tibet, has been shrouded in mystery due to its Buddhist teachings and its isolation by majestic mountains. It is known for its untouched beauty and is considered sacred. Unfortunately, it is isolated due to lack of transportation. Over the years, Attempts were made to build a road, but it failed due to avalanches and rock slides. Matua means mysterious lotus in Tibetan, and the region seems to want to keep its secrets hidden. To get there, you must cross snow-covered mountains, nine rivers and a suspension bridge over an abyss on a four-day trip, suitable only for the bravest. Despite the challenges, Matua is known for its meadows, forests, lakes and rivers, offering a green oasis of peace and tranquility. Number 5. Thanks to satellite images, scientists made a surprising discovery in the Sahara Desert in Libya. More than 100 fortified castle-like structures were found, dating back approximately 2,000 years. These constructions are the work of the ancient Garamant civilization, about which little is known. This find is valuable for historians and archaeologists. During the exploration of the ruins, experts from the University of Leicester found structures up to 4 meters high, remains of local houses, funerary pyramids and irrigation systems. This discovery challenges ancient Roman chronicles that described the Garamantes as wild nomads, as the ruins suggest that they were a sedentary and advanced civilization that was able to adapt to life in a desert region with incredible droughts. Number 6. Sarasarinama is one of the oldest plateaus in the southern region of Guyana and Venezuela, known for its dense and tall forests. In 1961,
pilot Harry Gibson discovered huge holes in the area, but exploring them proved a challenge. The first expedition in 1974 took more than 10 years to prepare and, when descending through one of the holes, they did not find the expected lake. Unfortunately, they faced difficulties in getting out on their own and had to cut down trees to be evacuated by helicopter, causing damage to the ecosystem. Two years later, another group discovered three additional caves. The mountain has four sinkholes, the largest being the Sima Humboldt, 1,350 meters deep. Locals believe the cave is home to an ancient malevolent spirit that kidnaps people as they often hear a malicious roar coming from it. Number 7. In 1993, French electrician Emile Laure faced a complicated situation in the desert. His car, a Citroën 2CV, broke down halfway to a military post in the Moroccan desert. Instead of panicking, Laure decided to disassemble his car and use the parts to build a motorcycle, since repairing the car was not possible and walking was not a good option. The task took 12 days, but with enough water and food that he had brought, he was able to build the motorcycle. Although the police fined him for driving an unregistered vehicle, Laure was not bothered, as this makeshift motorcycle was key to his survival in the Sahara Desert. The creation of many beautiful statues in ancient times, whose human origin is plausible and credible, is overshadowed by those that provoke awe and admiration such as the monumental statue of Buddha in the Chinese city of Lesan. Located on Mount Ume, this statue stands directly on the rock, reaching an imposing height of 71 meters, with the head rising to 15 meters and a width of approximately 30 meters. This majestic work is believed to be over 1,000 years old, and scientists postulate that its construction took place during the Tang Dynasty in the 8th century. Although the Chinese have historically demonstrated remarkable engineering prowess, the creation of such a magnificent structure raises questions. Not only is this a challenging task for the time, but the presence of other stone images nearby further complicates the mystery. Is it plausible that something so grand could have been erected without the use of machinery? Although it is stated that construction took 90 years, the magnitude of the work seems to defy logic even for that long duration. Among the local population, there are diverse beliefs. Some maintain that the statue is the product of advanced civilizations, while others even speculate about its extraterrestrial origin. What is your opinion? Although the Buddha statue can find a certain explanation, not all unknowns are so simple. An example of this is Nan Madal, a place you may have never heard of. This archipelago, located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, surprises by revealing the existence of stone palaces, temples, tombs and residences built between the 13th and 16th centuries. These findings defy expectations of what could be found in seemingly remote corners, offering an enigma still unsolved. The question remains, who could have embarked on the construction of something so monumental in such distant lands? Scientific explanation suggests that this remote location could have housed the local elite and members of high society, perhaps serving as the government residents. Although this theory has some validity, an intriguing detail emerges. The archipelago has virtually no sources of fresh water. Is this a suitable location for a capital or government headquarters? Personally, I find this aspect quite questionable. Another hypothesis suggests that the Nanmadal complex had cult relevance and religious significance. Although this idea could be true, it remains only a conjecture so far. The complex has suffered significant damage, making it difficult to understand its exact function. Scientists have not yet managed to unravel this mystery. Moving towards Ethiopia, we find the city of Lalabella, seemingly ordinary except for its churches. These structures not only capture interests but baffle even modern scientists as they were carved from stone and volcanic rocks. Each of the 13 churches is unique and incomparable, standing out for its unique style. Some are located in rock cavities, surrounded by stone formations, while others were sculpted directly into cliffs. 
According to scientists, these churches were erected between the 12th and 13th centuries, and their construction was completed in an astonishing period of 25 years. Ethiopia, an African country whose ancient inhabitants were not distinguished by advanced knowledge and skills, lacking unique tools, raises an intriguing question. How was this feat possible? Even today, creating something similar is not easy. Researchers are perplexed by the extraordinary creation of these dazzling and impressive churches in Ethiopia. The fact that they were built with primitive tools in a span of just a quarter of a century remains an unsolved enigma. The response of the locals suggests the intervention of higher forces. According to local legend, both human workers and angels descended to earth to assist in the construction of these churches. It was the angels who urged Lalabella, the ruler of the time, to erect these structures, thus fusing the efforts of ordinary workers and celestial beings in the creation of these architectural monuments. Africa holds more mysteries than is commonly known, and goes beyond the famous Egyptian pyramids. Now, we know the mysterious Ethiopian churches. Another architectural enigma occurs in Great Zimbabwe, an ancient city in South Africa whose construction began in the 9th century, and reached its peak in the 12th century. Is it a simple coincidence that these wonderful Ethiopian churches were carved in stone during the same period? The distinctive feature of Great Zimbabwe lies in its unique architectural features. All the buildings were built with identical blocks of stone, stacked on top of each other without using any stabilizing material, and even so, they are preserved in good condition. Abandoned in the 15th century, it remained unchanged for a century until Europeans discovered it in the 19th century. As archaeologists explored Great Zimbabwe, they encountered a puzzle. Who built these buildings? They did not appear to be the work of local tribes. The answer came through a local legend that describes the city as being built by a mysterious people, described in stories as supernatural beings capable of flying and moving stones with their minds. These beings shared the city with local tribes before mysteriously disappearing. The mystery remains, who exactly were these supernatural beings? Some suggest the possibility that they were extraterrestrials, while others consider the hypothesis of representatives of an advanced civilization. After leaving, according to legend, to help other peoples build luxurious buildings around the world, it would not be surprising if these beings whether extraterrestrials or a human race endowed with supernatural powers, also had a role in the construction of monuments. Mysterious perhaps his influence extends to the creation of the Temple of Jupiter in Lebanon, located in the ancient city of Baalbek. At first glance, the ruined temple might look like a typical ancient Eurasian relic. However, this temple is exceptional. It features one of the most amazing blocks of rock on the planet known as the Pregnant Woman Stone. Approximately 2,000 years old and weighing more than 1,000 tons, this stone has impressive dimensions, 20 meters long, from meters wide and high. What is notable is that the block is polished to the extremes, despite the wear and tear of time. The intrigue increases when considering that only part of the stone is shown, since it fell and has become impossible to lift. Even with the presence of advanced modern machines, this task would be practically unapproachable. It would require several dozen powerful cranes that cannot be located in the area. The mystery remains, if modern technologies cannot handle this stone, how did the ancients achieve its creation 2,000 years ago? It is an enigma that involves the meticulous treatment and polishing of the stone, as well as its transportation. However, the stone of the pregnant woman is only one element of Baalbek and its temple complex. At this location, there are numerous colossal blocks, carved columns and other extremely heavy objects, each weighing around 800 tons. Scholars still cannot understand who the builders of these buildings were and, most intriguingly, why they needed them. This mystery deepens even further when we consider that Lebanon was under Roman rule and was not near the center of power of the empire when these monumental structures were erected on the outskirts. It is possible that the truth behind the construction in Baalbek is different, perhaps representative of an advanced civilization. 
Some scholars even hold the theory that only giants could have been the architects of these structures. A recently deceased researcher was convinced that the evidence supported the existence of extraterrestrials, arguing that how could such majestic blocks of stone be created by humans? The magnificence lies not only in the size of the individual buildings, but also in their decoration and treatment. While other wonders have disappeared over time, the Pyramid of Cheops still stands, baffling the world and scientists with its secrets, its engineering marvels and its connection to various sciences. To this day, it remains an enigma about which many theories have been formulated, and exploratory missions are still trying to uncover its secrets. No one knows all its secrets yet. We may have learned some of those secrets, but the biggest secret is still kept hidden. Some scientists may have discovered it, but they have not revealed it. The geographical location of the pyramid is extraordinary, not only for Egypt, but for the entire world. When the scientists of the French campaign decided to make a general map of Egypt and conduct a geographical study, they took the main length of the Great Pyramid to determine other lengths. After mapping the delta, they were amazed to discover that the length of the pyramid, which they had chosen at random, divided the delta into two equal parts. Their astonishment increased when they realized that the two diagonals of the pyramid, from the northeast and northwest corners, encompassed the entire delta region between the two diameters. They were even more surprised to realize that the location of the pyramid was not only the main longitude of Egypt, but in global terms. The largest pyramid is located exactly at the midpoint of the longitude that divides the world into two parts equal, just as had been planned for the pyramid. The most extraordinary line in the world, which passes through the greatest amount of land, i.e. continents, and the least amount of water, i.e. oceans, is known as the Greenwich Meridian. Its uniqueness and precision are unsurpassed. On the other hand, in Egypt, near one of the oldest pyramids in the world, scientists have made a discovery that sheds light on the history of this important archaeological site and the religious beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. Experts found mummified bodies in a location between the ancient pyramid and the dry moat, a deep trench surrounding the sacred area of the pyramid. This dry moat was a symbolic path that the pharaoh had to cross on his way to. Curiously, one of the boxes had a rather poor hieroglyphic inscription that said, the inscription seems to have been created by someone who did not know writing since which is meaningless and contains signs found nowhere else. These mysterious secrets surround the pyramids. The Egyptian pyramids, located near the Nile River at Giza, just outside the modern-day city of Cairo, are giant historical monuments built by ancient pharaohs. This complex includes three main pyramids, the Great Pyramid of Cheops, the Pyramid of Khafre, and the Pyramid of Menkor. These structures are notable for their enormous size, impressive dimensions, and distinctive hierarchical shape, comprising a square base, upward sloping sides, and a sharp peak. The height of the Great Pyramid is 149.4 meters, a figure surprisingly similar to the distance between the Sun and the Earth, which is approximately 149.4 million kilometers. Furthermore, if we divide the circumference of the pyramid by its height, we obtain the value of 3.14, a mathematical constant known as pi, which plays a crucial role in mathematics and physics. Pyramids and Aliens Years ago, in a National Geographic report, the majesty of ancient monuments, particularly the pyramids of Egypt, was discussed. Some people have wondered if extraterrestrial beings could have built them although the evidence disproves this idea. The report concludes with a message to proponents of extraterrestrial theories. Instead of attributing human achievements to otherworldly beings, we should recognize and value the amazing methods an ancient civilization used to build these awe-inspiring structures. The mystery behind his greatness lies in his skill and creativity, not in supernatural interventions. The pyramids of Egypt represent one of the most notable achievements in history not only in terms of physical construction, but also in innovation and design. Elon Musk, known for his numerous technical achievements, and companies such as Tesla and SpaceX, 
even engaged in a debate on Twitter with supporters of the theory that aliens built the pyramids. How were these monumental structures built despite their immense size? They have lasted from the time of the pharaohs until today, but the exact number of people involved remains a mystery. According to Flounder Petrie, a prominent archaeologist, approximately 100,000 people carried the huge stones to the job site, while another 4,000 worked on the construction itself. According to the book The Seven Wonders of the World and the Curiosities of the Continents, published by Altalai Publishing and Printing House in 2003, the stones used for the construction of the pyramids were quarried from Mokadam Hill and then transported to the pyramid area on barges. Some of these stones were dragged from distant places using skis. Since the Egyptians did not have cranes, they employed ingenious methods to lift these heavy stones. The construction of the first row involved the use of a large amount of stones and earth to move the huge stones of the pyramid over them. After completing the construction of the pyramid, they covered it with an outer layer of small white stones to give the illusion that it was a single white structure when viewed from afar. However, most of these white stones disappeared over time, and only a few remain at the base of the pyramid. The pyramid includes the burial chamber, the chamber of King Cheops and the largest vestibule corridor. In addition, it houses tombs called mastabas and three small internal pyramids where members of the Khufu family and high officials were buried. There is also the funerary ship of King Cheops, which is in an excellent state of preservation since its original placement. As for the date of construction, the ancient Egyptians settled in the Nile Valley around 3500 BC. However, scientists suggest that the first pyramid built in the region was after 2700 BC, that is, approximately 800 years after they were established in the Nile Valley. This rapid development surprises scientists, since in other civilizations, it took more than 800 years to go from a simple life to a stage of organization and construction. Historians believe that the famous tribute pyramids were built between 2600 BC and 2500 BC during the Egyptian Fourth Dynasty. Broadly speaking, the Egyptian First Dynasty spanned from 3100 BC until 2900 BC and it was during this period that the oldest hieroglyphics were developed. Then, between 2300 BC and 2000 BC, there was a period of cessation in pyramid construction, but then their popularity was renewed, and the last pyramids were built for the Egyptian ruling family before 1700 BC. It is important to note that each of these pyramids was built as a tomb for a pharaoh, although sometimes wealthy people were also responsible for their construction. Modern interpretations have given the world the impression that the pyramids were built by people who were completely enslaved. But this belief is a matter of dispute among many researchers today, like the agricultural workers who built wonders like the cathedral in Europe after the end of the harvest and agricultural season. Similar conditions may have prevailed during the construction of the pyramids. It is proposed that, as in the use of agricultural land, a similar solution was found in providing work through the construction of these enormous tombs. Archaeological discoveries of the conditions of the burial sites of these workers suggest that they were mostly a group of skilled workers who were not slaves, contrary to what many theories promote. 